super deep silver, guys. Super deep silver, that's what he's saying. I don't believe him. No, I'm kidding. I can't believe him. Let me with the coin impression first. Yeah, look at that. I pull it. Considering, uh, but we are uh, we're gonna head on down and have a good old time. We got Donut Boy back there breaking the donut top, breaking out the elements. Early morning breakfast. Me, the driver. Chauffeur. Yeah, they were both gonna sit in the back. I'm like, guys, I'm not a chauffeur, so I'm gonna sit up front. So we got Tyler from the Copper Poppers over there, and we're gonna have a good old day. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna find some awesome stuff. You know, we're gonna pop some coppers with the Copper Poppers. <laughs> We are the PA Relic Hunters. I have Rich. I'm not even flipped around. Sean's have his arms up in the air. We got Dave. We got Tyler from the Copper Poppers. If you guys don't know who they are, check them out. Sean, he has the first find, so let's get first to it. First find of the day, and I'm like, what, 10 feet from the cars? Heck yeah, not even. Yeah, we right there. Nice little buckle. Like, I don't have enough of those, I'll say it again. Uh, <laughs> we love the buckles, though. A little D. So many buckles. It's probably horse tack, so yep. not too shabby. Let's keep on going. That's good. First, uh, first stuff, signal. First stuff well, has first been found here. We don't know exact age of the house, but there is a house in the woods, and we're gonna go hit around that foundation while we can. Uh, we got these fields. We did. Tyler had found a KG here as well, so we'll keep on going and see what we can get. It's gonna be a good day. See ya. I got a little bit of a cool signal here. Uh, it was a 28, <laughs> oddly enough, and it was a, a little tiny buckle. Uh, it was a little D buckle. Actually, it was a pretty big D buckle. Uh, but right on top of it, I keep joking with the guys that these ring up as a 28 now. It's a little deer shed. A little baby two, two point uh, first year probably. But hey, if you're looking for them, they ring up a number 28 on the Equinox uh, 800. Just kidding. All right, we'll see you guys. I'm handy up here somewhere close to the where the, uh, the cellar hole is. But right beside these... Uh, I'm going to assume about tulips, daffodils, whatever they are. Right next to it. Got myself a harmonica reed. I don't know if that's on the list or not. Harmonica reed on the list? Wait, hold on. What? Harmonica reed, is it on the list? No, not this year. Oh, man. You took it off. I took it off. But anyway, it's a first complete one I found. I mean, I'll take it. I don't know if I'll display it, but I'll take it. It'll in the pouch, it'll go. Let's keep rolling. Guys, so we are by the foundation. We got the three amigos here. Hey. <laughs> Dave got Dave, something Jerry, awesome. Sean. Dave, Jerry, Sean. Sean, Dave, Jerry. Uh, it looks like a date on there. Uh, we don't know exactly what this is yet. It says McClure. McClure. Let's get it cleaned up. Let's see. Can read it now? Let's see. It says McClory measuring lines, patent, August. 30th, 1881, Oil Well Supply Company, Limited, Oil City, PA. Dude, that's a nice find. That is cool. a sweet find. I wonder what that was actually to, though. A plate? I don't know. Some type of plate of some sort. But it has, a, I think it's 1881 right there. Mm -hmm. August 30th, 1881. That is a sweet little find. Great job, dude. That's, that's, that's a good find. Yeah. That's a well, nice like find. That. Let's keep on going. Yeah. See ya. That's my first find besides junk. So. Junk. Well, hey. Yep. It was worth walking all the way over. How far did you have to walk? Not far. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got Tyler. He's somewhere way over there. I think I just stepped into one. Broke my detector. Stepped in Sean's hole. All right, we'll see you guys. Dave, well, you were telling me to slow down earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's time for you to slow down. <laughs> but he That's got a it. huge. What a nice, pretty. I mean, it's the size of his, the palm of his hand. You can see where the clasp the would have been pin across. Was. Oh, that's a piece On of garbage. Back. That's garbage. I like that. Uh, might have been part of a, be a boot. No. It's like a big pin. Angel wings. Something. No, wait. Put them on my back. I was going to put it on your chest. That's my angel That's where it would have been. 
Sure. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Could have been that way too. Could have been. Yep. Or could have been that way. That actually, there's been, four possibilities if you want yeah. to keep going. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll keep going. Let's keep rolling. Dave's calling me the, uh, you call me the stirrup king. Yeah. <laughs> you he thinks it's a potato masher. But I put my boot in there. It fits right in there. It fits like a glove. It fits like a boot. It fits like a boot right in the stirrup. But, uh, oh yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Will I display it? I don't know. I don't really necessarily like displaying rusty things in my case, but I might. Never know. If I can, if I can set it up the right way. But, hey, we're digging through all these. I mean, there's tones all over the place. So you just have to go slow and uh, try to squeak one out. And we'll keep rolling. At this old home site, we are actually, uh, the, the pickings are slim. Um, has been detected before, but, you know, that's never really a deterrent for us. Um, I got a nice 24, 25. I was reading solid. I thought it was going to be a coin. It, it's not a coin, but check it out. It's a rain's guide. Looks like it's broken in the middle there, but it's probably a brass piece of rain's guide. That's a really nice piece. I have one other one like this. It's complete, but, and so is this one complete. It's just broken at the bottom there. Yeah, it is really, really neat. All right, we keep on going. All right, so we got a little spoonage. Huh? It's nothing amazing, but it's a, uh, I'd say a copper spoon. I'm gonna give it a brush, see if I can get any markings off it. If I do, I'll be back. Everyone left. Not uh, everyone left. They all went to different directions. They were just all here. I thought that was gonna be a copper. I was like, oh man, how awesome. But it's a button. I've never seen one like this. Look at the design on this. Man, is that pretty. It's a two piece, but absolutely beautiful. Look at all the design on this thing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, once again, thank you, Tyler, for getting us out here. I actually think it might be hollow. I'll have to get that cleaned up and see if I can get a better picture of it at home, but that is really, really impressive. I actually do think it's hollow. An open, open type two piece button. Man, oh man. All right, guys, we'll get back at you. I got some spoonage action, guys. Got some spoonage action. It's probably mid-1800s right here. That's a nice old one, mid to late 1800s. Uh, nice, fully intact, not bent. It's really nice, man. Keep on going. All right, Tyler's got his CTX 3030. His baby shovel. And his baby <laughs> shovel. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's mini shovel. But he's not hurting his back carrying the thing all day. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to do a live dig. He said it was a decent signal, but it's deep. I hear some beeping. It's really deep. And hopefully probably Tyler doesn't chop it in half. Yeah, right. Probably won't even find it now. That's yeah, just sort of the side wall. That's probably now. I can't even get near it. It's down there. It's definitely down there. I don't even think you, yeah, it's, it's a nail. Oh, nice, dude. <laughs> nice. Another one, another one for my collection. That's it. Wow, you must have a whole wall of them, huh? <laughs> Building a new house, too, right? <laughs> All right, see you guys. Uh, we are at a new permission. Uh, we have everyone here, too. Tyler's still up there, over somewhere back there. There he is. Anyways, uh, this is a site of an old log cabin. That's what we're told. Uh, it was burned down in the 60s. Um, because it was just falling apart. They put a new lake, they put a little lake in over here. Uh, so we're assuming the house was actually like right, actually almost right where Dave is. You can see the depression. Uh, where, that's what we see on maps and old stuff like that. So we're trying to figure it out, but I got my first signal. Let me flip you around. It's a nice little rain's guide. It was on the surface. I thought it was broken, but this is actually the way it was made. Uh, I'm not sure how that was connected. It was probably a screw that went through and connected onto, I'm not sure how it was connected actually. Uh, that's a pretty sweet find. We've been fighting the rain, it's still raining now, and hopefully we can keep on going and find some old coins. And we'll see you on the next hole. I've had my first good signal of the whole day pretty much. I mean, it was like a no doubter signal. Can you read it? How about now? 
I'm about to give it a brush down, but hey, it's I think that's my first hubcap that I found, so still pretty cool. I'm gonna brush it off, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I gave it a brush real quick and obviously it doesn't look any different than what you looked at from the inside, but I don't know what year of a vehicle it would be off of, but hey, I like it. It'll be actually be in my display case with the rest of my uh, car stuff, so. Hey, we'll keep rolling here. Hopefully we find some more stuff. We might be moving on, I'm not sure. So if we do, we'll be back on the next. We are at our third permission for today. Uh, second one did not do very well at all. I don't think we filmed, I don't, anything. Uh, so anyways, we're here. We just landed this one uh, two, almost two hours into it, trying to find a place. We finally landed something. So let me check out Sean. He got his first find at this place. We actually think it might be a silver thimble. It's kind of, does it have weight? I don't know, it might be aluminum, hopefully it's not aluminum, it yeah. might be aluminum. It's not cleaning up as well as I thought it would. Right. Let me see. It's probably not heavy enough. Oh. Silver uh, or no? Nah, I'm going to be honest, I think it's uh, aluminum. aluminum. Yeah. Whatever, It's it, it looked a, good. Give me a good silver I'd tone. still think they would, I, I, I still would have thought it was silver, so. Yeah. But we have a nice, beautiful yard to do. To Look at this nice old house. Let's keep on going. Find out if it is. Let's keep on going. Let's get it. Bye, Sean. Tyler. Right, you finally, man. We, yeah, we worked hard for it today. It's been a long day. You got a silver quarter. Oh, man, that thing's shiny. Oh, it's SLQ. Shut up. Nuh-uh. No, it's a wash. Oh, so you I had, had to, me going. Yeah, I had to go. Is it okay to hold it? Yeah, go ahead. Just do your thing. Rub it. I can rub a, yeah, I can rub a Washington. Washington. 1942. 1942 Roosevelt. Let's see if there's a mint mark. No mint mark. <laughs> First silver of the day. That was all even two inches. The cloud was deeper. You're supposed to be popping coppers. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, what am I doing? Man? I know. What the heck? <laughs> Dave, you were just up here. You missed a silver quarter. He was up here, too. Uh, you were up here, too. So. I never went that way, actually. Did. I did not. I came in that way. I went straight to the front. All right, guys. See ya. Hope for something older. See ya. Tyler's on a roll. He's got himself a, a little airplane. Hopefully, uh, and some garbage. Yeah, that's an old can. Yeah, that's a real old can. It's like an old oil can or something. Man, oh man. And then he got an airplane. Probably like 1950s. That might be a Tootsie, actually. Oh, it is definitely a Tootsie. Is it? Heck yeah, it is. Oh, cool. I've never seen a Tootsie plane before. Me I've only found a little course. Wow, that's actually really, really neat. Yeah, hey. Nice, dude. Sweet, man. Nice find. <laughs> All right, dude. Pick it up. <laughs> what, do, what did you find? I don't know. You're holding it. <laughs> well, you hold it. All right. You looks hold like it and explain it. it. Looks like a little watch fob. It is a little one. All it says on there is Beaver County, Pennsylvania. There's no date or anything, but well, what's this thing? I don't know. Up there. I can't tell what that is. Maybe our viewers can tell. Yeah, I don't know. Dog tag. Nah, it would have a date for a dog tag, but nothing on the back. Nah, yeah. just looks like a, a little watch pop. Yeah. That's nice, something. dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Hey, we're finding stuff. Relics. That's, that's a, yeah, that's a nice relic right relics, there. Yep. And it turned out to be a nice day after we were all soaking wet this morning. So, let's keep rolling here. Maybe we'll find some more stuff. All right, man. Sun's yeah. setting in the back behind it. Well, sort of setting. Yeah. <laughs> we saw, we got about an hour in another hour, hour and a half. But hey, we thought, oh, I thought it was a Tootsie. But it's actually, I don't know, can you hold it like that? Yep. But it's actually a, a Midge toy. Rockford, PA. I think it was Rockford, PA. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a Tootsie. It's around the same era. So, uh, sure. hey, nice find. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks. you're on fire, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a decent thing. <laughs> I found a little Tootsie. Did you? Yep, a Jeep Tootsie. It's missing its front wheels, which that usually means it goes in my junk bin at home because I won't display anything that's missing wheels. But it's a Tootsie. I think it might be my first Tootsie of the year, actually. If it is, I'll cross it off the list. Keep rolling. <laughs> I dug another Tootsie. Uh, this one has, is actually intact, so I'll be able to display this one. And we're gonna go live. We're gonna do a live dig on Rich's tone. He's calling silver. Is that what you're calling? I'm call not calling silver. What I'm are you calling? Something good. I'm gonna call. Like I'm gonna call Tootsie. Penny. I'm gonna call Tootsie. Uh, could put. Yeah, it actually could be. 
Still in the hole. Back to back tootsies. Here we have silver. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hey, there, it is. there it is. Son of a gun. Also over here. Seagram's. Ah. <laughs> Schmitz. Schmitz. Schmitties. That's an old it's beer. Schmitties. That's an old beer. Yeah, Schmitz. Schmitz. Super deep, super deep silver, guys. Super deep silver. That's what he's saying. I don't believe him. No, I'm kidding. Check I check that. Check your coin impression right there. We'll go with out. the coin impression first. Yeah, look at that. Sweet. Can I pull it? Yeah. Uh, ooh. That's a barber, I think. It is barber. Have a nice gray you have a, do you have water? I don't. Yeah, let me see if I have water, guys. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's a nice That's looking a one, condition. huh? Nice We're going to give it a good squirt here. Yeah, we'll go to the back side. We, me and him both know what it is yet already. Oh. I'm going to call seated just because of the smile on his face. <laughs> uh-huh. One dime. Let's see. Ah, uh, uh, Barber. Yeah. I'm okay with Barber, huh? Oh, You'd be okay. 1901. I will take that. 1901 nice Barber, dude. Nice that's a pretty yeah, fine, man. That's an, that's an excellent shape. 1901, yeah. no mint mark, guys. Dude, All right, really we'll see you. I'm on the board, guys. Uh, it's only a war nickel, but let me flip you around. Still silver, though. It's from Philadelphia, and it's a 1943. 1943 Philadelphia silver nickel. All right, I will see you guys on the next hole. Tyler's over there sniping coins. <laughs> Sean's hoping to get a coin, and Dave is just... Dave, what are you getting? Clad. Clad. <laughs> he's he's going to pay for dinner tonight. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Check this out. It's a little suspender strap. I haven't broken it out of the clot, <clears throat> the clot yet. It's got a little chase on it, little nubbits, and I just broke one off. They're fragile. But this would be the... I think this is the bottom part of it. Um, and then it would, or actually it might be the top part and then something would hook through that way. Um, that'd be neat to find the rest of it. So, all right, let's keep on going. They're still over there detecting and they said, I haven't been doing any filming. So I just found this type of buckle. I don't know if it's a horse tack or what, but a cool relic. So. Gonna keep it here for a while. It's gonna get dark. <laughs> 